everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going little free library hunting and in this clip i am grabbing a bunch of books that i am unhauling and i always keep this in the back of my car so i don't really know what's in this box i just always have it and i decided to do all of this on feet which i regretted like halfway through this trip but i saw a lot of pretty views so i think it was worth it and we're already at our first stop and this one had some pretty good books i'm not gonna lie and i will walk you through everything first i grab this book which i thought the spine was like really pretty because of like the colors um and it ended up being like a short story healing kind of book or like short story poems situation as you can see here like mini paragraphs then i also pulled out this box because i thought the side was pretty and it ended up being a thousand piece puzzle and i thought the art was so beautiful so i held it to the side and it looks like i'm making a mess but i promise you i cleaned it up right here you saw me stack a little bit and i look me cleaning it up right now and i promise you i did it with every single place the stop that i went to i cleaned up i promise and this is me awkwardly placing my camera down so i can put in my books and i'm going to do a full haul at the very end of this video so that's why i'm not showing you everything i got but i did give you a sneak little peek and just like that we are already at stop number two which they decorated for halloween and i thought that was so cute i go here occasionally when i have like some ya books to donate but i don't go to this one often because it's next to a park and i know there's usually like mainly children's book which was the case today there's a lot of children's book and then like some adult books which i think like is the parents of the house i assume i'm not sure i don't know why i'm making up stories now but i didn't pick up anything here and i can't remember if i left anything here so this one was a bust but it was so cute Also, on my way walking to another free library, I found this book on the ground and I was thinking, should I pick it up and put it in like a free library? And I was like, no, I'm not touching it. Like, I don't know what's like, it's on the ground. And so we are already at another stop. And funny story, I went to another one that was like down a hill, but it wasn't there. Like, I think the family moved and like they took that like the f little free library with them or something and so i walked down a hill for nothing and so long story short we missed one but now we're at a third one but i count it as my fourth because i walked down a hill for nothing anyways i'm looking through this one and i don't find anything and then i pull out this ellen elin oh my gosh i don't know how to pronounce their first name i thought i did but i don't We are at our very last destination, our very last stop, and I scored major at this free library, so I'm super excited for the books I got in this one. I, When I first opened it, I was like, oh, I don't see anything. There's a lot of like Nora Roberts, mass paperback books, um, a lot of like older books, things that I wouldn't reach for, um, but I did pull out this like Broken Ice book, which I thought the spine was cool. 
but it didn't really interest me. And then I saw this, The Wife Between Us, which I see on Book Talk all the time, and it's like mystery thriller vibes, and I'm looking for those kind of books for October. And then I pulled this book, which I've been wanting to read from this author, um, One of Us is Lying. So I was like, oh, this is really cool. And then I pull out Colleen Hoover and I'm like, wow, back to back to back. What? And so I was like shocked and I was like, okay, let me like start looking more thoroughly and not judge based on like the mass paperbacks they have in the front. And this is a Sarah Dessen book, which I've been wanting to read by sarah Dessen, but i've been thinking like maybe it's not for me maybe i'm like past that kind of like age range because i tried reading like the summer i turned pretty and i felt like it was a little bit juvenile for me oh and that's me giving a thumbs up because i thought it was so successful and that's me holding my heart because i ran across the street and cars were coming So, we're going to do the haul portion of this trip, and I'm going to just quickly walk you through them. Um, so, yeah. So, first, I got this puzzle, which I thought is very cool, very pretty, and it's a thousand pieces, but look at that art. I thought it was so cool and the box is still like really nice so i'm hoping all the pieces are still there um but it just gives me like really fall vibes and like the gardening the leaves i just thought it was really pretty and then i got this book eleanor oliphant is completely fine and i've heard about this before a long 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 time ago um never picked it up but i think now is like a good time for me to pick it up mostly because i read the back and you can see it's from goodwill but i read the back and i was like that sounds like a good book for now i'm going at random so i'm just picking things and pulling them out i got two can keep a secret i've been wanting to read from this author i've been wanting to read one of us is lying but i thought this one also looks really cool and if one of us is dead and it's like a ya mystery thriller kind of book um and it's about people who goes missing like it was an aunt and then it was the homecoming queen and then like who is next and like people just keep on disappearing and i think i don't know who obviously someone's at the center of it but i don't know who discovers it but very excited to this i think it's really fitting for halloween spooktober and then i got this for a friend i thought it was really cool and it's like brand new really good condition um like barely red for a friend but i did trade in a book for it but it's like brand new i think this is like a self-published version because the backing looks like really different and it also feels really different but it's very cool very nice and then i found the wife between us which is um i've seen on book talk and it's kind of like a mystery thriller kind of vibe the synopsis doesn't give too much it's like when you read this you think you're reading about this but you're actually reading about this but then you're actually reading about this so i don't know but i thought it was like i've heard about it and it's like a spooky book kind of vibe so i'll add it to my spooktober list i picked this up but i'm questioning it now i don't know why but i did trade a book that I wasn't gonna read for this that I probably won't read. So I don't think I lost, but I don't think I won either. And then I got The Island by Ellen Hinder Hildebrand, which I've been wanting to read by this author. And I think I saw a book once by her. I think it's called The Summer of 69 or something like that. Um, 
and she writes like mystery romances I believe but I thought this was a pretty cool find and it's like the mass paperback book which aren't my favorite but like sometimes they're really fun to read so I'm glad I had this and I think so like it was supposed to be a perfect getaway but yeah And then lastly, I got this, which I thought would be like really good to have next to my bedside table. Um, like before I go to bed and I read like a little bit a day. It's kind of like poetry or like short stories. I don't know. They're just like little paragraphs. So I guess you could call it poems or short, short, short stories or just paragraphs or like whatever you want to call it. But it's kind of just like a healing book. So that's the back. It says, at the end of the day, no one will walk your journey for you. You have to do that. At the end of the day, no one will dream for you. You have to do that. And I think it'd be like a really cool book to kind of annotate and highlight like what stands out to me. It would be pretty cool to have like a few a day just to like some reflection. And there's like a lot of gaps. So I feel like it'd be even cool to like write in. Um, and it just felt like really inspiring. So I picked it up um, and I'd say that's a pretty successful haul. So I'm gonna wash my hands. Yeah, but thank you guys so much for watching and catch you on the flip side.